It is exactly 11.55, so it's still morning for me, but it could be nighttime. It could be the afternoon, the evening, brunch, when you're watching this. So, yeah, I promise I'm not any different in the morning than I am at night, um, but cool. I got a new mic set up. Uh, I had bought a mic a little while back, but it didn't really work with the boom stand. That was a little annoying because it just kept tipping over and I had to balance it with a big old bag. And it was just, there was just a lot of space that was being taken away that just wasn't working with me. So I bought an arm, arm, arm clamp, clamp arm, arm clamp mic. So now I'm just holding it here. It's holding it for me. And yeah, I got the filter. I got two filters. I got the filter for the mic attached to the mic and the one that's attached to the arm. So it really limits all the p -p -p and the t -t -t -t. Anyways, I um, realized I wasn't recording and I had uh, started thinking I was recording and I had looked back. I didn't get far, but I'm a little annoyed right now because I had some great dialogue going on. And now I know I'm not going to be able to replicate all that I just said because I turned around and I was like, oh, shit, I wasn't re freaking recording. Well, it's OK. You know, good thing I caught it on early. Because if I hadn't and I would have gone through an hour of playing the game, I probably would have not played this game again. <laughs> so now we're here and we're going to continue on where we left off from what I was saying in the previous moments where I wasn't recording. I'm still sad about Joy. And I don't know if there would have been a different path, story path that I could have gone down where I could have saved Joy Obviously, it seemed impossible since he had a sacrifice card. Unless there was a path where him and I could have escaped, you know, I would have chosen him, or I could I could have proved to everyone that hey, you know, choose him, you know, let Joey die or you know whatever, and everyone else would have perished. Joey and I would have just walked away uh, with all the regrets of knowing everyone died, but we would have lived. Ponder on what if. But I don't know if there are different paths and different stories and different routes you can go unless you take different routes and they all come back to the same path. Maybe this was destined for Joey. But yeah, still sad about that. But that is life and I must push forward and move on. I'm saying a lot of things that I'm trying to say because I felt like they were great. It was great dialogue. So I kind of know how to, <clears throat> you know, I know how to push forward right now. I can see my reflection in the window. I am recording, all right? I'm three minutes in. I am recording. This game ain't fucking me over. Cool. What an awful face I look lifeless. Yeah, she looks dreadful, man. Look at her. She's she's really dreading. She's, uh, man, you need some sleep. Enough. This is no time to be looking in the mirror. Sarah. I kind of already know what happens. <sighs> Ah, Joey, ah, yes, I haven't seen this before, right? Oh, the blood, ah, yes, the blood's gonna come out of the bed. The blood's gonna come off the floor and on the walls and on the lamps. How long are you going to run? What did I say here when I wasn't recording, huh? I had some brilliant dialogue that I had said, but something about, ah, uh, yes, I did say, Sarah, you must, no, I don't, I don't fucking remember. I don't have to be honest, it's, it's long gone from, it's in the moments, man. It only works when it's in the moments. Die with me, Sarah. Oh, I said, that's right, that's right. I said, oh, man, don't bring Professor Mishima into this. What the heck? Oh, Kai, Kai. And then I also had mentioned that I kind of feel bad for Kai, knowing that he was the people, he was a person that was in the family and cooked for us. He was our cook. But he did had... Um, Emotions, not emotions. He did have feelings for me, so which is a little odd, you know. So, you know, it is what it is, you know. Kai, you know, Professor Mishima, yes, I get it. Blood on the floor, blood on the wall. You know, it's all the same, but Joey is who we want to interact with. You. You aren't Joey. This is this is just a nightmare. So cold, man. Aren't we best friends? Shut up! Oh, and this is where I said, because I got the choice of breaking the mirror or running out of the room. And I said, nah, we ain't running out of the room because 
That's just cowardice. You're running away from your problems, Sarah. You can't run away from your problems. Break the mirror. Use all that anger, that fear, your, your clouded mind. Release all that negative energy and put it all into your fist or fists and break the mirror. It's much more dramatic. Ah, yes. Ah. A sharp pain spread through my body. Oh, you're going to feel pain. Because you just lost someone so close to you. Professor Mishima's death was nothing more to you other than uh, a spook. A spook of, oh my god, a spook of reality. A spark of rea a reality. Your eyes flash before your eyes and you realize, oh shit, this is actually happening. But the pain, the, the, the death of a best friend of someone you knew closely is a real pain that you will feel. Yes, that face. That's right, Sarah. It hurts. It hurts. I know it's going to hurt, but you can't keep running. Don't steep deeper into the darkness. Trust me, there's light at the end of the tunnel, and you must fight it. You will get past this. The only way to solve this problem is to solve it for yourself. So no, don't scream help. No one's going to come and help you. No one can help you other than yourself. I'll make you more comfortable. Oh, this is where I said, oh, very kinky shit here, Joey. Oh, uh, stop. I can't breathe, Joey. But you know, it doesn't have the same feeling as when I first said it because the stupid shit thing wasn't recording. But and yeah, anyways, I love you, Sarah. Stop. Can't breathe. Sarah, get a grip. Get a grip, Sarah. And then could you come up? Can you understand me? And this is where I figured out that hey i wasn't recording so i better start all over <laughs> so again good thing i didn't get too far into it that would have been sad right now i'm gonna be looking over making sure that i'm recording that doesn't all of a sudden cut out that would be quite unfortunate i have a lot more energy in the morning than i have at night maybe because i don't really care about not having to be so quiet so i'm allowed to be loud in a way not really anyways Yep, your friendly policeman in the flesh. Ah, and this is also where I mentioned, hey, man, you keep saying that you're a friendly policeman and Joey has some, some suspicions about you. And I'm going to keep that. I'm going to keep what Joey told me because that's all I have left to, you know, do something, devote something to Joey after he died. You keep saying you're a policeman. You don't have to prove to you, prove you're a policeman if you keep saying it. Because the more you say it, the more I become suspicious of you're just trying to play this persona who you really aren't. Oh, did I go running around and hurt myself? Show me your wounds. Heard some pretty loud noises. Something happened? Uh, I saw, uh, yeah, well, there's nothing to hide. Why would I hide? So you had an, an hallucination of joy. Yes. Glad you didn't get any major injuries. Come on, sit down on the bed. Whoa, 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 whoa. Kiji, relax, man. I don't want to get too that far. I'm going to take it slow. This is the third floor. There's rooms prepared here. One for each person. In other words, get some rest. I see. Thank you very much. How long did I sleep? Let's research searching now. Um, I feel like if you go to sleep, uh, thank you very much. Uh, uh, let's just research searching. Let's just get to it. With how unsteady you're looking, you just get it in the way. Rest for now, Sarah. Everybody else is sleeping, too. You've come this far without a break. You at least deserve to sleep. <clears throat> Easier said than done, QG. My best friend just died, and I have nightmares. I don't want to sleep. Yeah, hear me? What? Please stay with me. No, 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 no. Or maybe? Hmm? I bet that's what he wants to hear. Creepy old policeman. All right, let's just stay with me. I'll stay in your room, sure. So sleep easy. No, I don't want to lie down. Oh? Phew, all right, fine. I'll lend you a shoulder. Rest just a little more. Understood. Uh, don't do anything, Sarah. Not at off, eh? I don't like this. Not that I'll, I think he'll do anything um, perverted. I just, I'm scared. 
I'm scared if he's like a killer. You too, huh, Sarah? You can't acknowledge the halluc hallucinations. Once they're burned into your brain, don't end up like don't end up like <laughs> don't end up like Mr. Policeman. Ah, oh, maybe he is a policeman. Cause I'm pretty sure he's having nightmare fuel from his previous murder cases, I would assume. Looks like you managed to rest, so yes, thank you very much. <laughs> Wanna go show your face to everyone? They're worried, so Yeah, sure, why not? Let's let everyone see my dreadful, sad, depressing face. Hallucination level hallucination level twenty. The hallucination level is a number indicating Sarah's mental state. It will surely increase every time she remembers Joey. Please, take caution not to let it go too high. Oh, I'm kind of curious, but, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to push it. I'm going to push it. So, oh, look at how lovely this sanctuary is. This is like me, like the Last Supper or some short, some stuff like that. As soon as I enter the large, bright space, I notice the people there. Singing echoed through the room. That's Reku's voice. What a pretty voice. Such a sad song. Let's, let's keep optimistic here, you know? Come on, Sarah. Pep up. Entranced by it. Sarah Chindoyan. I feel like I'm butchering her last name. <laughs> you look awful. Alice, why are you listening from the wall? Isn't she your sister? How annoying. We're strangers now, I tell you. Right. Reku and Alice were siblings, huh? Uh, Raku is surely singing with pure feelings out of grief for the dead. I don't care to introduce unnecessary, unnecessary distractions by presence. Pretty conscientious for your sister, eh? Always the provocative, provocative one, aren't you? You all, what do you do? What do you do? Think of Raku. She's the kind of person. She's frightening. She's a big sister type. Real shame about her brother. <laughs> <laughs> Just throw it out. Real shame about how her brother turned out. You know? Sheesh. Uh, I wouldn't say she's kind. She's very truthful. So she very appeals to the truth. <laughs> she's not frightening. I think she's, she, I, I think she's definitely the big sister type. I suppose I can interpret that in a good way. Doesn't seem like she's get she gets bashful. Not even if she's dealing with my with brawny men. Kind of too weak, harsh on the strong. That's the impression I get. She was different before. Before? She was kind to everyone? Was she harsh on everyone? Precisely. Since Reko's birth, she's brimmed with vitality and had talent in music and charming others. I can't find a voice for this guy, man. I'm sorry. She was harsh even on herself, but especially harsh on weak people who were all talk and no action. She's undergone a startling change. Due to your murder case, I take it. <laughs> That's why they do an anime. <laughs> exactly right. Sorry to make you hear things, hear these trifles. Sarah! Sarah, you came too. Sarah! Big sis, Sarah! Ha, ah, yeah! Ah, oh, that's the voice for the little kid. Yeah! You okay? You you can't push yourself, okay? I'm I'm fine, just a little exhausted. I'm glad you woke up. I oh, lost his voice. <laughs> oh man, everyone must be exhausted, body and soul. But the kindness is comforting. <laughs> what the hell are you looking at? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sarah, you know the sitch? What happened when I slept? What's everyone doing? Other than being brought to floor three, nothing yet. We were feeling at a loss too, so we all could do what was rest as instructed. But that bad doll girl's nowhere to be found. Should we look for her? Miley vanished. Let's go look for her. Let's go defeat her. Let's go. Let's look around first. No, let's go defeat us. Let's, let's go beat her ass. We'll find her. Miley, I'm going to deal with you myself. Big sis, Sarah? I... It's nothing. 
All right, sitting around is not my style either. Let's take caution exploring the area. Dippity dippity doo. Let's go through your room, monitor room. Hopefully, I'm not too loud. Good thing I can edit this. Whoa, loads of monitors. Almost like some kind of security room, ain't it? Hmm. I think I hear a faint sound. Is one of the monitors on? Uh, yeah, let's just check that one. 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 Is this another trip? Are my suspicions correct about Professor Mishima being the one behind the games? <laughs> oh, we about to find out. My, 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 what is all of this all of a sudden? Men on the monitor is unmistakably. Professor Mishima? Oh, why? If it isn't Miss Now. It's not a video, you're talking to me. Yes, I am looking into your eyes and talking with you, Miss Now. It's unthinkable. Yes, it is unthinkable. After all, Professor Mishima is dead. Are the people behind you your friends? It's nice to meet you. My name is Mishima. Huh? Nice to meet us. Weird. What if there's like clones of Professor Mishima? Hmm, another suspicion. As soon as Kana noticed me, she averted her eyes. I don't think I can talk calmly to Kana right now. Kana was working with Sal. She was. Even if she was just being used right used right now, I just can't do it. Now his gaze fixed on the single point. I am Kazumi Mishima. I teach Japanese and art to high school students. What in the world is going on here? Are you the real Mishima? Do you remember us? Is this a video call? Ah, uh, well, obviously he's gonna say. Hmm. Were we ever acquainted? Well, now. Ah, I see now. I'm. I've remembered. I am an AI program of Kazuma Mishima. An artificial intelligence. A, an artificial intelligence? Precisely. I'm a replica made from copies of Kazuma Mishima's memories and emotions. Oh, that's why they took the head. If he's a copy, that's probably why they took the head, took the brain, and put it in a robot. So Miley could, an act could actually have been uh, a player. They could have actually been a person brought into this game that had died. And now they're being used as like uh, pawns in the game, you know, little little characters or little um, pieces to move the game along. Anyways, everyone, I suppose you met with the real Kazima Mishima. On the back of his mind, there's a photo of Mishima's face. If that's the truth, are all of these AIs of different people? <laughs> what a strange sensation. I would love to meet and speak with myself. The old guy's gone. What did you say? Uh, the way you talk, everything. It's the professor. Like the professor actually is here. Now. An AI of a person who should be dead. Then. Joey? Is there one of Joey? Pix says, Sarah, what's the matter? Before I knew it, I was intently checking the backs of the monitors. Not here. Not here, not here, not there. Not here, there, or there, Sam. Green eggs and ham. What? There's even a monitor with my photo. Yet Joyce is nowhere to be found. Sister, why aren't you here? I miss you too. And Kana. What is only now get to Professor? <laughs> what are you doing? Miley? Woman on the monitor. Ah, ooh, ah, who was this? Who went and started up the Mishima AI? What the fuck? I know she never said it, but what the fuck? I get it. So then Ranger was, I wasn't, what? Hey, don't get mad. Everybody seems pretty pleased, don't you think? We turn to the voice behind us. 
This is like a Cheshire cat sort of person. Hey there, you bastards slept well. Who are you? I'm the dress up doll, real ranger. I'm gonna support y'all on this floor. Best regards. Uh, what about Miley? Eh? You prefer the ladies, don't you? She. She. No, I'm not gonna do that. She. Come on over here, Southland, for they have so humbly requested a girl. Who <laughs> sniff? But I'm angry at you right now. Yeesh, that's creepy when they all talk at once. Creepy, you're awful. Boo hoo hoo. Just Josh and you're real cute, so move it along. Do you mean it? That was damn quick. Good to meet everyone. I am the vice floor master, the Klein doll, Tia Sarvelin. What a calamity. Now, this is the perfect. Let's begin explaining the rules of floor three. The rules of floor three? <laughs> yep, the bastards are probably gonna hype on our age after suspecting on the storm in the main game, right? And so we thought of some wonderful festivities to let you reconcile before the main game. Wait, we're doing one again? A main game? <laughs> those are those are those are the animes when they get to like those like super um muscular uh shots of like uh could i i don't know i'm i i'm i'm i'm, I'm an uncultured swine but whatever i'll just stick to the ranger all oh, oh, depends on your assholes all oh, depends on you assholes <laughs> Woo! knee slapper what's the matter my face scare you come on share what you doing Shut up. Hmm. For your stupid explanations, take that off. That thing you're wearing. Is it hit Joey's hair clip? I don't I remember what Joey wore or what he had. I don't know what underwear he was wearing. What the fuck? I don't know if he had a butt plug on him. What do you the hell you remember expecting to remember every little detail? And then Joey's isn't that Mishima's necktie? Isn't that Kai's apron? Oh, shit. You know what? I do notice the apron. I do notice the tie. I don't know about the hair clip, but... We can't remember Joey. Let's not try to remember Joey right now. So nothing about Joey. It's nothing about Joey. It's Kai. Let's remember about Kai. Isn't that Kai's apron? What? Uh oh. I kind of like this character. I like I like this guy. Person, girl, whatever. <laughs> Sure enough, you recognize the thing around my waist. It feels good, you know, feels like it's full of dead regrets. The regrets of Kai Satan, the foolish man whose rebellion destroyed him. Don't you dare. You're the fool. Then that skirt too. It must be my sister's. Phew. You bastards got any right to condemn me? This topic's done, Joe. Now everybody come and see what's the past these monitors. We'll have a full gram. <laughs> I don't know. I can't do a pers I can't do a voice for every little persona she plays. <sighs> Why couldn't she say anything back? <laughs> Prize exchange. Anything else I can click on actually before I head to the back? I guess we'll go to the prize exchange. Oh, interesting. Someone else is gonna die. Whoa, uh, who's this guy? As if not minding us at all, he doesn't even move. That's the reship, uh, re that's the reship in this dial, and this is the prize exchange. Safflin, hand those things out. Okay, I forgot her voice already. I could do the, I could definitely do the caramel voice, shut voice, but I can't, I forgot the other one. Everyone's had a new wallet of some kind. Oh, yes, I got four Sarah tokens. Inside are tokens with my face on them. Those are, those are me tokens. Everyone has give, been given to 100. Huh. So let me guess, you can trade these tokens for the prizes on display here. Correct. Just what I expect from you. The prizes are things related to clearing floor three and personal French profiles and more. <laughs> You're making information into prizes. However, you cannot trade for the prizes you're using on your own tokens. Ah, I should be. I'm not paying attention to the dialogue, to be honest. I get so into the, the voices that I forget what they're saying. What's this? That mean? You can only use tokens you get from others, and if you get a lot from somebody, you can nab that person's personal information. Those tokens signify trust. 
and all y'all bastards are gonna be selling buy still and surrounding those suckers. In short, it's a game of buying and selling trust. <laughs> buying and selling, buying and selling. Oh, you know, that work. Uh, I've got this. I'll accept everyone's tokens, then I'll tell everyone the info from the prizes. Good plan, sir. If we share our info, there's no game at all. <laughs> You're so born of some real game breakers, jeez Louise. Well, too bad for you, but that's not all. All of you will experience nine attractions located around the third floor and then the right to challenge the main game. I am recording, right? Very good, because I'm 25 minutes in and I don't want to start over. Meow. Whenever you clear an attraction, you'll receive clear chips. And if you don't collect 10 within the time limit, you'll die before the main game starts. No. <laughs> Lee Slapper. Please do relax, Miss Down, like the main game. If you do well, then no one will have to die. Please don't. Don't impersonate him. Most attractions we got the group of two. However, one cannot do the same attraction twice. I like that voice, but who knows if I can keep it. Tokens and clear chips. I'm starting to see what you're getting at. <laughs> now, get what you need to do. Clear attraction to collect 10 clear chips. Use the me tokens you received however you want, though you can only trade with to other tokens. By the way, the more tokens you get, the better. There's grand prizes too. A ticket to the surface. <laughs> As fur comes for a serve, baby, your snows, your lows. <laughs> sneak, sneak, slapper. <laughs> huh, I don't see anything like that on the counter. Your time limit is three days. Relax, you've got plenty of food and clothes, and even time to rest. So sleep and soundly. We won't put any traps or any other trigger in your personal room, so use them freely. Now, let the summer game, the trust sparta game begin. <laughs> Neat slapper. Well, at least they're kind enough to give us food and a place to stay, you know, and I just have a scramble around room to room trying to figure out how to get out of here. How much will they belittle us? But we have to do it. I can't just die. Attractions. Should we look for them? I guess so. How many do I have? Sarah, meat tokens, 100. Clear chips, zero. Kiji, all of these people, zero. Uh, so I forget the rules of the tokens. So I can't use my own personal tokens. I have to trade with others in order to use it. Prize, Kiji Persona. Tokens required 50 Kiji tokens. Trade tokens for prize. I mean, I would probably find out if he's actually a policeman or not. What is this? Victim video 3. Tokens required 20 tokens. Trade tokens for prize? God, I'm so burpy. Easy ticket. Tokens require 10 tokens. Limited quantity. One left. Having it lowers the difficulty of all attractions. Yeah. Chuck Ching, baby. Uh, so I do have to trade with someone else. You've changed your mind. I wait another time. Uh, I forgot his voice. So whatever. I'm gonna put safe just in case. I'm recording. I swear to God. You know what? I don't trust it. But safe right there. Um, let's move. Let's go ahead and go back to the monitor room. Oh, one's cracked now. The monitor screen is cracked. <laughs> hey, wasn't this totally fine before? Whose monitor is this? What's going on? <laughs> the photo on the back of the monitor has been ripped off. Someone, someone's photo must have been here. Mishima, Mishima, did you see the one who destroyed the monitor? I am terribly sorry. I'm afraid I didn't. Come to think of it, I haven't seen Sal. Him again? Damn it. What the hell is he even after? Mm, look for attractions or look for Sal. What do you think, Sarah? We gotta look for Sal. This guy's a sus character. I feel like we can't let him roam free. 
That's true. Sheesh. She would you love to throw some cuffs on him and lock him up? Um, could all of you focus on attractions while I search for Sal? Kana? Kana looked directly into my eyes. It's natural for you to hate Kana, but she'll at least keep an eye on Sal. Please believe her. No way, Kana. Don't you go near that guy on your own. It's my responsibility. Kana was working with Sal. No, or maybe she was just being used. Do you what? Do what you want. I'm going with you. No, I'm going with you, Sarah. If it's only Kana, she'll just be used by Sal again. Hey, put in like that. That ain't. You won't trust me. Stop this, you guys. Huh? All this tension is just what the kidnappers want. Are you dumb or what? Looking at you, it's like sisters. Oh, oh, I fucked up. I fucked up. Oh, I'm supposed to gain the trust of other people. That way I could take their tokens. Yet, maybe that's what they want us to think. So we get the tokens, but I could probably take this. I'm probably taking like a back path, you know, back path to a different route that might lead to the death of everyone. Who knows? Looking at you. It's like sisters quarreling. I hate it. Just reconcile with only the appearance. The feelings can be appended after the fact. Reconcile. Superficially reconcile. Reconcile. Why? Why am I being so hateful toward Kana? No one's done anything wrong here. It's like I'm pinning the reasons for Joey's death onto Kana and Sarah. Oh, I'm fucking up again! I... I lost a dear friend. But Kana, you lost your sister. We're all victims here, forced to vote, and I know we shouldn't hate each other. And I know Joey's fate was decided as soon as he drew the sacrifice card. But it takes time to get over feelings. So, while I can't get the splinters out of my heart yet... Kana, even if it's only superficial, superficial, super fickle, fickle, can we reconcile? Sarah. Well said, Sarah. And what really pisses me off is Mr. Beanie. You just got used by him too, right, Kana? Don't feel so responsible, all right? That's wrong. Kana tipped the scales. The scales? Kai said he had contact with the kidnappers, but he drew the sage card and became the victim. I'm sure that means he didn't know all the details of the main game, but Sal? He didn't know things about the main game. What? I was taking a break with Sal before the main game. Then I found a glowing card behind the sliding door in the bar. We've opened that. What's this? Sacrifice? You ought to toss that. Uh, uh, this is, um... If someone finds out you have the card, you die. Did it say something like that? Relax. That's a dummy rule. What? Seems like the kidnappers want to distri distribute one of those cards to each person. Anyway, that's a dangerous card. Trust me and hand it over, okay? I gave Sal the sacrifice card, and Sal gave me a commoner card. He let me know about the main game that was going to happen, and about a strategy to survive. Everything was the way Sal explained it. That's why, that's why Kana thought that instead of Kai, Sal should be left alive. Is that what happened? So Kana wasn't necessarily just being used for Sal? A dummy rule. Can't prove it, though. No, hold on. And that secret room where Kai's laptop was. While Sal was sitting, was still knocked out after being attacked by now. I saw a card under the desk. Yes, it was the sacrifice card. If that was Sal's card, it's strange that he didn't die from seeing it. In short, it really is a dummy rule. That's kind of a strange. Because that loner got knocked out before the loner and bucket girl rested. Isn't the order weird? B bucket girl? 
Because <laughs> she has a buck in her head. Why does she have a buck in her head? What was the order of them attaining the sacrifice? Connor got it first. Sal got it first. Kiji, what do you think? Hmm. I forget what rooms I'd entered first before I got to the point where I saw the card under the table when Sal was knocked out. I think Kana got it first. Kana got it first. Because if Sal would have got the sacrifice card first, he wouldn't have switched, he wouldn't have the commoner card. Kana got it first, saw that it was a sacrifice card, switched it with Kana, went back to the room, got knocked out, and the sacrifice card was in the bottom. Yeah, Kana got it first. No, what's wrong? Jin has has it right. Sal was knocked out before Kana handed over the sacrifice card. No, that's not what? First, I was attacked in the hidden room and fainted. Later, he picked up the sacrifice card and a commoner card, then rested. He placed the sacrifice card uh, somewhere where Kana would fit it, would find it. And when Kana picked it up, Sal offered a trade for commoner card, as if to put it in her, as in to put her in his debt. That can't be. Sure enough, the damn beanie guy was just completely using Kana. That's not the that's not the only thing. The sacrifice no, the sacrifice card ultimately ended with up with Joey. Meaning maybe he purposely had Joey pick it up. God damn it, it's gonna take that I'm gonna take that guy out. Come on, we'll all search together. Sorry, I please let me speak with the professor a little more. Huh? Right. Thank you very much. Yep. Sal definitely wanted to get rid of Joey. That's why I had 100% believed that Sal had the sacrifice card, but I should have known he had a trick up his sleeve. I should have known that there was a card up his sleeve. Now, now I'm going to be <coughs> more observant. I'm going to say that, but I probably won't be as good a observant as I am. I don't even know what I said. Uh, Ruin Corridor. Let's go in there. Oh, wow. Look. Oh, Beanie Boy. hat is on the floor. A green beanie lays on the floor. Isn't this Sal's hat? He's got to be looking around here. Hey, look. Down the passage to the right. The one in the back. It looks like there's a, there's attractions. Don't tell me. Sal went ahead alone. You shouldn't be able to enter without a group of two, but... Ultimately, maybe somebody's got to check. I'll go. Everyone check elsewhere. Yeah, let's split up. Please, go and check the other areas. I'll handle this. Will you, sir? Seems pointless to try and stop you. Then you better decide which attraction to do. And who to take along, too. Alright, alright. Wait a minute. Arm wrestling, participants to clear chip rewards, two stars, difficulty normal. <laughs> Press the button when the power gauge is full to throw down the opponent's arm. Defeat the three dolls to win. Okay. Memory dance, participants to clear chip reward for very hard. Oh, memory, probably you have to like memorize shit. A game of memorizing your opponent's dance and repeating the proper moves. Defeat the three dolls to win. Charge card battle. Clear chip reward 2. Difficulty normal. A card game where you battle opponents by selecting 3 cards at a time. Defeat the 3 dolls to win. Let's do the arm one first. Press the button when the power gauge is full to throw down the opponent's arm. Defeat the 3 dolls. Okay, yeah. Let's do, let's do something simple. Kiji Kataro. Big boy. Big boy. Kataro Big Boy. It's Kataro. Your outstanding power makes you push the opponent's arm twice as such. Successful. I know, sir. If you're partnering with me, I'll trade 10 meat tokens while we're at it. But yeah, let's do it. I mean, who else? Some arm wrestling? Why Why would I pick anyone else other than Kataro? Well, I'm itching to go. You can rest assured with me, sir. It's all coming together. Ooh. Ooh. My. We'll start with me. 
Got the motivation. Show them the power of yours. Uh. Arm wrestling rules. Press the button when the strength gauge is most full. If you do well, you'll push back the opponent's arm. So I'm assuming the... I can't tell if it's the orange or the yellow. For the last attack or when on the verge of defeat, a fist button will appear. Mash on it. I hate mashing after what happened. Touching your allies' icon will give you advice, and like so, good luck. Oh. 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 My timing is just right, baby. Hey, guitar, what you got? We can't lose. We'll take on anybody. Well, that isn't really much advice, but alright. Ooh. 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 Woo -hoo -hoo! Oh, I'm damn good at this game. Come on, pinhead. Let's get it, nail boy. Oh, well, it's becoming a little bit more difficult because the little little I can't miss it. I can't miss it. Oh. Yeah. 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 Ooh. Ooh, that's right, boy. I won the battle. I did good. Ah, I love his approval. I love the thumb. Oh my god, it's just like Kronk's movie when his papa gives him the thumb. Yeah, it's all coming together. You did good, Sean. <laughs> oh, I'm emotionally so happy. Look at that. Look at that thumb. Look at his smile. Look at his his thumb. His ah, uh, good work. You're really something. So these are all clear chips. Let's take one each. Well, why you get to one? You didn't even do shit. Well, then, Spawners. Let's trade tokens. It's a trade of trust, you know. Traded 10 meat tokens with Katara. Still, Sal wasn't there, was he? Damn it. Was he on the wrong track? Uh, you guys are... Are you guys safe? Sorry, but you ought to come with me. Huh? I found the beanie bastard in his bedroom. Nah, nah. It's just a facade. It's just a facade. He's playing it to make him seem like he's the victim. I don't trust this guy. There's a rugged plank of wood on the bed. A hey, what the hell's this? Hmm, well, it seems just the right size to carry and swing around. You don't mean Sal was... Beat up? Sal's collapsed on the floor. He was once again hit. Oh my god, this guy's luck. I'm just getting hit on the head. I. It's the same situation as before. Sure is. Don't worry, he's breathing. On his head? Those splinters? This scene truly was the same as the one I just recalled. The same as when Sal was attacked in the hidden room. Am I recording? I'm still recording because I'm doing pretty good right now. Sal? Ugh. Um. Ow, oh, man. I feel awful, man. Oh, he should have a surfer's voice. What in the world happened? Yeah. Oh, nah, how do you do that? Totally, dude. Well, uh, that was what I want to know. Where in this place? When did I get you? Oh, I can't do this voice. Fuck it. Cram it, you bastard. Like, how anybody's going to worry about you now? What are you plotting? Tell me. What? Hold on. Now, now, violence isn't the answer, actually. <laughs> what is this? You're so mean. Suddenly. Sal, you broke the monitor, didn't you? Where have you been? Who attacked you? Well, he's not going to know who attacked him, because he was hit in the head. Um, I think I was investigating the laptop in the hidden room. Uh, and then, uh, what's he saying? Shut the hell up. The laptop crap was all before the main game. The main game? That's right. Before the main game, I need to... 
I need to check the data on the laptop, but the password, um... You completely lost your mind, man. The main game's long gone since ended. What do you mean, Kiji? Over? All of it? Who died? I don't know whether to believe that he, I don't know whether he's telling the truth or if this is just all an act. I don't know. And it's bugging me. It's bugging me because I want to be right. I want to be like, ah, he's just playing. But who knows? This game has been full of trickery. This, this, this game definitely throws you into a loop. It throws you under the rug, under the blanket, and it just tosses you down the stairs. Now you think you're going one way, but nah. You're not. You're not. Sal. What what is Sal talking about? Who who isn't here now? Hey, don't tell me your memories. Or else was it Kai? Stop. Stop it already. It can't be Joey. Stop. Stop. Miss Sarah, they can't be right. Joey Joey died? Why? Stop! 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 I'm still not gonna stream in those daytime. That is one terrifying face. Joey, you've seen better days. You okay, Sarah? Yes, I'm, I'm fine. God damn it, piece of shit. He's spouting more stupid lies. So it's really a lie. Obviously, he's at a disadvantage. So he's pretending like he doesn't remember. That said, he's not going to answer us like that either. <clears throat> I need water. I'm losing my voice doing all these voice actings. <sighs> Rico. Mm. Pepsi. It's not Pepsi, it's water. I don't put any other sort of liquid drinks in my canteen. My, um... My flask other than water. Um, could you trust Kana to handle it? Kana? I'll try to find the truth behind what Sal's thinking. I'm sure he'll be less wary with me than the rest of you. Sounds good. The hell you're on about? That guy's like a bad influence on Kana. We've been underestimating Kana, I'd say. She might be a strong girl than we thought. Mr. Policeman. <coughs> Oof, excuse me, I'm sorry. But don't let him use you, Kana. Adults with bad intentions are scarier than you can imagine. Right. <clears throat> Good luck, Kana. Kana Banana. I ain't gonna accept it. I just... <sighs> Let's believe, Reku. Kana. What do we do now? We got three whole days. No use rushing. The attractions and... The attractions and hurting ourselves. It might be wise to discuss how we're going to use these tokens, too. Tokens? Yeah. I say we use... Oh, but we need his tokens in order to... Negotiations. After finishing a death attraction, you can select someone in the lobby to have negotiations about token trades and, like, and the like. It's wise to both collect tokens and deepen your interactions, your attractions, your actions, and all out of actions and sh and shins. Your actions may just decide their fates. Sarah, just to try it out, want to trade 20 tokens? Great. Should I pour some coffee? No thanks. What's this about a trade? Cold-hearted as ever, just what I said, we trade 20 tokens for experimentation. Our enemy seems surprisingly serious about following the rules, if nothing else. Even if there was that dummy rule. The more tokens you collect, the better. We can probably trust that's correct. So those who don't get a certain amount of tokens are penalized. Doesn't that sound doesn't sound unlikely, does it? Does it have to be 20? Why trade with me? Yeah, why trade with me? I'm asking the bigger questions here. Because you're cute. Uh, of course you would say that, Kiji. Why did you just remember that already? Hm, once again, that's all he'll say. Besides, they called it the trust party game. 
if I've got trust somebody, I think I'm thinking I can trust you, Sarah. We'll trust if you tell me secrets. Don't trust you. We'll trust if you tell me secrets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how about that? What? I haven't forgotten if we made it through the main game, you tell me your secrets. Ooh, that's what I was thinking. Like, this is going to lead to what I think it's going to lead to. That's right, QG. Promise is a promise. I ain't trading no tokens with you unless you tell me exactly what you said you were going to tell me. Sure, I'll tell you soon. Soon? Slippery little. Slippery little snake. Well, in the end, I'll differ to your wishes. I'm not an extortion kind of guy. What should I do? If I trade for 20 tokens, I'll be losing 20 of my own. Should I still go through with this trade? Refuse trade. Nope. You ain't gonna tell me who you are. You ain't gonna tell me your secrets, buddy boy. I ain't gonna tell you my secrets. That's what best friends do. You wanna gain my trust? Well, you gotta trust me with your secrets. Otherwise, this friendship ain't nothing. You can think of, you can say how cute I am. You can, you can, you can gush me with all your nice and lovely words, but... I ain't, I ain't gonna I ain't gonna do it, buddy boy. Okie dokie, monkey dokie. If you had some... Oh, that's what's making the noise. I was like, the hell is that noise coming from? If you had some premonition, maybe I'll hold on to these for now myself. Well, that's it for negotiations. Oh, I frickity fracked up. Suddenly I remember something. It's now still there, I wonder. The AI of Professor Mishima. I should go check on her. Do we have to... Now I was talking with her gaze fixed on a single point. Now, so then, Professor, while you were gone, it's like my voice isn't reaching her. I guess it's entirely reasonable. If I were in that situation, maybe now it won't come back. If if it were Joey on this... Oh, no, I'm not supposed to be remembering about Joey. No, don't, don't do that to yourself. I'm sure I'd be rooted to the spot, too. It doesn't matter if she's fake. I want to meet him and apologize. I want him to forgive me. I can't help thinking about those things. As if I'm going to forgive me. Calm down. There's no one there. It's just a hallucination. Damn it! Oh! Oh! I shouldn't have done that. No, 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 no. Go back. Go back. Go back. Oh! No, 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 no. What was that? Calm down, gotta stay calm. I'm sure. Now is regretful too. Wondering if she could have saved Mishima. Given that bringing now back to reality is beyond me. I'm sorry. Oh, now I put it up 20. Now it's at 40. I'm sure I can only get it up to maybe... Um, it's either 100 or 200. Okay, um, where to now? Lobby. Before I left the room, I looked toward the monitor one last time. Is that so? It's been nothing but hardship then. <clears throat> Sorry. Is that so? It's been nothing but hardship then. However, even amid such of circumstances, you've made wonderful friends, Miss Now. Friends? Indeed, age and the length of your association are of no relevance. They are wonderful people who can help e each other. I understood that clearly hearing you speak. Please treasure your friends, Miss Now. Okay. I've already, I've always been getting saved by them, so from now on, I want to be useful to Reku and Sarah and everyone. That's why, I'm going now, Professor. Yes, please come by any time. I'll be right here. No, I won't come here anymore. Miss Now, you truly have grown strong, haven't you? I am honored to have you as my student. Goodbye, Miss Now. Oh, she's moved on. I actually want kind of want to cry. I don't know. I'm getting a little teared. Oh, she's moved on. I, I'm, not strong at all. I wanted you watch it over me always, <clears throat> Professor. Good for her. Good for her. Honestly. Good for her. She's moving on. She realizes that she can partially let go and that she's going to make him proud to accept everything and face reality. There, it's, there we go. Now, facing reality, 
you know, not to be stuck in this fa facade, you know. <clears throat> now is a strong person, much stronger than me. I should go. I'll do what I have to. To so much as approach that strength. That's right. She has it in the heart. Day one. That kind of hurt. Noon. Hey, isn't that that one guy? Person. Hmm. What's that? Quit it. The stupid joke's you. Biggest joke around here is your name. Katara and Ranger are arguing. I wonder what happened. Well, let's talk. Katara and Ranger are having to speed in the middle of a lobby. Damn it. You gotta be screwing with me. Katara, what's the matter? Sarah, this Ranger guy said we can't go back to the first or second floor. I mean, you cleared all of them already, right? Hold on a second. Kai's laptop is down there. Who cares? We'll just confiscate that thing. No way. <coughs> Ugh. Damn it. It was unmistakably a clue. The last of the last thing I want to let you guys take. Sheesh. Kiji. Bet Katara wants to find the truth about Kai. About Kai? What a troublesome guy leaving mystery after mystery. I wonder if Kai was a good person after all. Some suspects, some aspects suggested it. His anger for the victims and resistance against the kidnappers. Was Kai acting for good or for evil? Just whose side was he on? And we ended up making Kai a victim without knowing anything about him. But we, but we can make inferences. Inferences? Friend of foe, let's consider the possibilities. First, Kai confessed to having some contact with the kidnappers. So one possibility is that Kai was with the baddies. Like a director of the death game. Like a director of the death game, for instance. Yet, yeah, Kai drew the stage card and died. In his last moments, he said he entrusted me in his hopes. I can't imagine him as an enemy. Incidentally, Sarah, you really didn't have any acquaintance with Kai. No. Huh. And how about this one? Something like Kai betrayed the kidnappers, and he was executed as an example. He did shock. He did suck mildly after all. Hmm. It's possible he earned their wrath, but maybe that's not it. Even theirs. Then here's the next possibility. Kai was on their side, but had some sort of communication with the kidnappers. Though in the same situation as all of us. He did dealings on our missions in the shadows. Missions? Like what? You remember the first trial everyone took, right? Yeah, that game where I was tied to a bed and we had to find the key. It wasn't the same for everybody. Didn't Katara say so? Yeah, for Katara the trial was just to carry the box with Miley's head. <clears throat> ah, is that what you mean by missions? Yep, in short, Kai must... Kai might have also been entrusted with a different mission. Like, ensnare the other participants. No way! In other words, he was being manipulated like a disposable pawn. Ugh. There's one more. Very slightly possibility, but... One your friend, the policeman, lacked to hope for. He keeps saying the policeman thing, and... I swear, I want, I want to pull information out of this guy. Eh? The possibility we've got an ally on the side of the kidnappers. Oh, that'd be cool. In other words, there's a traitor among them trying to destroy the death game from the inside. That person was in contact with the Kai and had him assist with the plan. Well, Sarah, think that's out of the question? One of the kidnappers is our ally? I'm gonna say it's possible. I have no proof that. That could fly, I fully deny it, but looks like you can't wrap your head around it. There are clearly some illogical aspects, so we'll all of this just hope anyhow. Could it be interesting if Miley was related to this, though? <laughs> Kenji, I was just thinking, has there been a similar case? War relation? There hasn't been a past case similar to the death to this death game, has there? There has. Aha! Uh -huh. 
Oh, great question to ask. Bigger questions, asking the big brain questions. What? It was decades ago, apparently, but I've read the files. It was a battle for influence between major crime rings. At the time, the police were putting their all into exterminating these organizations. Those living in the shallows had it pretty rough, so crime rings started laying waste to their own. But if you're really just uh, gonna mutually destroy each other, it's better to join hands, they thought. And so they executed a plan to unify the crime rings into one monolith in the ways of violence they're so adept at. Don't tell me that was... Yes, death game. A mutual slaughter with rules, scary stuff. The representatives had a grand battle and only one person survived. That survivor re reign at the top of the criminal society and I think it was called the Hades Incident. Hades Incident. Shot to the top of the criminal underworld, hence the Hades Incident. But ultimately, the organization collapsed afterward. Justice always prevails. The police do their job sometimes, right? Not very, I think, since the organization collapsed and all. Besides, Sarah, you got any connections to the criminal underworld? You can't be. Of course not, right? It's not good to be to go tying anything and everything together, Sarah. More importantly, we better get moving. Ranger was mentioning that the rest of the attractions have opened up all around here. Is that so? I think it'd be good to look for them. Tell me if I can help you out with something. This policeman will be your partner, sir. Uh, the attractions, I'll go look around. Alright, 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 alright. I am gonna leave it right there. I was gonna think of doing another attraction, but I'm an hour in, and I think it's a good stopping point so to summarize we are on the third floor different set of rules different set of games no one really has to die as long as we all have the right amount of coins or whatever tokens whatever the case is uh sao all of a sudden i forgot in his memory who knows um apparently this game has been going on forever yada 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 uh, I have to gain people's trust in order to get their tokens because I can't use my own tokens. I have to use their tokens in order to get their files, whatever. And there's games, so there's actually some little action into this. So pretty exciting stuff. I'm excited to um, to see what's going to happen. So, yeah. Again, as always, I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. And I will see you guys in the next one. Boy Wonder, out.